Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your three month forecast. So from the date you watch it, you count out 30 days, that's month number one. The next 30 days is month number two and then month number three, okay? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? I like to shuffle on camera, so that's what we're going to do. And they're in upright. These are in upright. Hopefully these come out in upright. We'll see what happens. So, month number one for Virgo. Month number one for Virgo. What do you have for the month number one? Oh. <laughs> month number two. Month number... No, month number two. Month number three. Month number three. And it seems like you guys have moved right to the top of the list. Which is, I don't know what that means, but I wanted to say that to you before I even turn the camera on. So month number three. Month number three. Virgo, month number one, please. M month number one. Month number two. And month number three for Virgo. Virgo, month number one. Month number one. Month number one for Virgo. One more card for month number one, please. Month number two for Virgo. Month number two. Month number two for Virgo. One more card for month number two. And month number three, please. Month number three. One more card for month number three. You're the one. You're the one. I don't know what that means, but that's... And you moved to the top of the list. So I don't know what's going on, but we needed one more card for each Something about you being the one and being at the top of the list. Now we need an overall energy for Virgo, please, for the next three, three months. Good catch. That was a good catch. Remember, every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading is for you. One card for Virgo for the next three months. Ooh, Queen of Swords. So you are, you got the power in your hands. You have the power in your hands. If this is you, and I, I, I believe it is. That means that you are very powerful. <sighs> this is a card of optimism, thing, seeing things clearly. honest and truthful speaking your truth I think that you will really be speaking up in the next three months you will be um, acting with integrity you may be people may be intimidated by you because you are you have the power you are that is the sort of power it's the sort of truth you know the truth you you will be you will be in a clear state of mind. It's like if you have been in a state of confusion, no more. No more. Done. No more state of confusion for you, Virgo. Um that is the energy. If you are a male watching this, you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, just saying. You could be. 
um, whoever this person is, if whether it's you or another person, this person is honest and truthful and quite matter of fact. This is how it is. Take it or leave it. That's who she is. Very intense. It's a very intense energy over the next three months. I think that you may be intimidating, intimidating to other people. They may be intimidated by you. Um, what do we have for month number one? Truth! Oh, they do this all the time, don't we? We do. They, they speak to me. Anyhow, that is the sword of truth. It's a sword of power. So there is, and this is a mask coming off. If somebody has been wearing a mask, it's coming off. It is coming off. There's there's no more lies here. You can't hide anything from the Queen of Swords. She's an investigator. So, um, truth. We're going to read that card. And a new life. You got a new life in month number one. A new life. A new life is starting. It is. And this is also a new idea. The sword is, the, the, that sword, it's a new idea, it's a new approach, it's a new thought. You're about to start a new life, you're standing in your truth, you're standing in your power, the power is in your hands, Virgo, month number one. And there's no more confusion, the mask is off. Interesting, ten of wands, hanged man, two of wands, five of wands, two of cups, and the devil. Okay, so Virgo, month number one. This is overwhelmed, holding on to something, carrying something, something heavy. There's some sort of heaviness here. Been going back and forth. So it, this goes from past to present. That's how this goes. So somebody has been overwhelmed carrying something, going back and forth, conflicted, definitely in a state of confusion, but this is the moment of decision where you reach that crossroads about a partnership because twos are partnerships. So you are going to be making a decision this month about a partnership, about a union. You could be dealing with a Capricorn and ready to face a fight, ready to deal with this conflict. I think that you have been heavily weighed down by somebody that was trying to control you or manipulate you or they were keeping and you were in a state of suspension, right? You were in a state of limbo, probably unsure whether you could even uh, deal with this because this is like a fight. It's like you're going back and forth with somebody. So I think that you have, you're going to be, or you have been thinking about it, really thinking about it, overwhelmed, perhaps even with um, fear, fight. We have a, a lot of fire here, a lot of um, wands, um, overwhelmed with, I think it's fear. I do think it's fear. Um, maybe, maybe you're, you're afraid of, uh, and the devil is fear. You could be afraid of this person. This person is, um, uh, toxic. This person is very manipulative. This person is a little scary. Whoever, whoever it is, I feel as though, um, you are making some sort of choice about a union with, somebody that is unhealthy for you, somebody that has been really manipulating the situation in a very sly, sly way. Um, this is a conflict. There's going to be a conflict. Now, this is a conflict in a partnership, a conflict in a union. But the twos are about faith and trust. We have two twos here. Two two. Have faith and trust. It's time for you to take that next step. If you are thinking, if you're worried, if you're scared about, scared of this person, they're in control. It's like you're letting yourself be controlled by somebody. It could be fear. It could be ego. It could be pride. It could be fear of failure. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but 
it's 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 like you're going to have to fight. This is you are going to have to fight for whatever it is. This is be assertive. The Queen of Swords has to be assertive to win. She has to This is you fighting for what you believe in. And twos are about what you believe in as well. So I think that you are about to uh, step into your truth. I think that you speaking the truth and you taking ownership and you... Perhaps you're going to be ripping somebody's mask right off in month number one. It's like you were dealing with somebody that was really trying, very controlling, very much trying to prove a point, probably to the world. Whether it was you or the other person. And it's been a real struggle. This Five of Wands is a real struggle. Very burdensome, very heavy. And I think that you've been fearful of um, dealing with this struggle. We're going to get some clarifiers. You're making a decision. You are. This is the moment of decision. Ooh. Well, okay. So you are making a decision to uh, shake things up. You're about to shake, shake up somebody's world, Virgo. You are. You are. And if it's not you, it's the universe. It's the universe coming in to shake things up. Somebody's about... That's a rude awakening. Somebody is about to get a rude awakening. And I think it's because of you. I mean, I, you know, if it's not you, it could be. I think it is you. I think it's you. I think because this is in your next three months, the Queen of Swords. I think that you're taking on this energy of it's time for me. It's time for me to take control. It's time for me to take my power back. And whoever it is that you are dealing with is about to get a rude awakening. A rude one. Um, and there's grieving. There's sadness. There's a loss. Okay, this is a grievance. Not realizing that you had an opportunity. You may have been in a state of regret or a state of depression or anxiety or fear. You know, letting somebody control you with their tricks, their mind games. But I feel like you're, you're, these are definitely mind games. They are. And these are games and this is mind games. So you were dealing with somebody who was really manipulating your mind, but it's like, no. It's like you're wiping that confusion out and you're about to give this person a wake-up call, a rude one. Um, you're, it's like you're realizing that there is an opportunity. It's like you weren't realizing it because this person had control over you for so long. Whoever this person was, very, very uh, toxic individual. Scary, to say the least. This person is scary. This person has addictions. This person doesn't follow the rules. This person is constantly trying to prove something to the world. They're, they're the martyr as well. So I think that this person has projected themselves, the devil is a shadow, to be somebody that they are not. So I think this fight that you have is real. It's a real fight because, you know, you're going to have to prove. You're going to have to prove um, there's worry. There is worry. And, and, uh, sleepless nights over making this decision. I think that you're, you are probably, uh, you, somebody has regrets. These are, these are both cards of regrets. Regretting something. What, what are, what's being regretted? Not taking action sooner. So I think that somebody is regretting not taking action sooner. I don't know if it's you or another person, but I feel like things are about to change really, really, really fast. This is, these are both sudden change. So your life is about to change suddenly. Something is going to happen, whether you are, you are instigating it or the universe is instigating it. There is about to be a, a, a sudden change. In month number one. And you may need to defend yourself. You're probably going to have to defend yourself. Maybe this has to do with the law. She can be a, law, a lawyer, a paralegal, legal, something like that. It could have to do with the law, but I don't know. But this is defend yourself, protect yourself. 
stand your ground, don't back down. This person, whoever you're dealing with that is in control, they're going to they're going to try to scare you. Okay, they're going to try to scare you. They're going to um try to make you feel bad. They are they are absolutely going to try to make you feel bad. They're going to use um any anything they can to make you give up. They are. So you are going to have to really keep going. Don't let this person control you. This is the, the that's what the devil energy is. This is when it's like the, Satan or the devil or something negative comes in and tries to get you to back down. It tries to get you to not follow the truth. It tries to get you to not follow the plan. It tries to get you to stay stuck in shackles, in chains, to not have that happiness that you are seeking. So yes, you are going to be tested. You're going to be tested by this demon, whoever this demon is that you are dealing with, whether it's within yourself or it's another person. For a lot of you, I think it's another person. I feel as though you are definitely going to need to defend yourself, for sure. Protect yourself during this time. This person may threaten to, they may even threaten to hurt you. Just saying, they may threaten, just threaten, okay? I don't see it happening. I don't, I don't see it happening. Um, I think ch things are about to change for the better. Things are changing. This is good luck. This is a lucky break. Things are about to change. And it's like somebody is, it's like somebody's going to help you. Okay. This is somebody rushing in and to help. To help you bring success to whatever it is that you're doing. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of, it's meant to be. This is meant to be. This is destiny. The wheel is turning. It's turning in your favor. It's not reversed. Something is going to turn in your favor in the month of October. One more card and then we're going to read those other ones. Oh boy, you're about to you're about to uh be successful. This is success. You're going to win. Whatever this is, you're going to come out on top. This is a this is an independent person. This is a, this is a reward for taking action, for taking swift action. If you are single, if you are a single Virgo that is watching this, somebody's going to come into your life like out of the blue, like lightning. This is like they come, it's like completely out of the blue, and it's meant to be if you are the single Virgo. It could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Just saying. If you are single, somebody's going to... It's just like they fly right into your life. You've been waiting. You've been in a state of suspension. You've been in a state of limbo. You've been um, sad and lonely and whatever. And boom, here they come. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel as though things are changing for you because you are taking some sort of action. That's what I see. I think that you are taking action. That nine of pentacles, this is, this is, uh, this upright. That's, that's so good. This is enjoying the finer things in life, but this is independent. This is an independent person. This is single. This is grateful. The storm is over. This is an increase. This is an increase of fortune, an increase of money. So some of you may be getting a, a pay increase or getting more money or there could be an abundance of money coming in suddenly, definitely. Suddenly you get some big payout. Um, let's just read these cards. Truth. This is going to be the month number one is a really, really, really good month. This is a, some you're going to need to protect yourself from... Whoever it is that want doesn't want you to break free. To break free from whatever it is, their manipulation. You're going to have to protect yourself. Yes, this person is going to get a rude awakening because you're making your decision to do what's right for you. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who knows their value and knows their worth and does and is proud of themselves. 
This person doesn't give up no matter what. I am strong. I can do this. And this is good luck and this is good fortune. This is a this is a positive result. Whatever it is that you are doing in October, you will succeed. One chapter of your life is over and it is spinning in a, and the wheel is spinning in a positive direction. Something really good, this is good luck, is on its way. And that is no joke. Truth. 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 Disarm, and I knew it had to do with fears. Disarm your ego. Face your fears. This is a card of ego. Habitual thoughts and fear-based emotions are related to us through our ego. Fear is the primary action of the ego and causes us to hold on to intellect, habits, impulses, and instincts. Like a dedicated actor sticking to a script, the lower self creates obstacles when you attempt to nurture yourself, grow your spirit, or support your soul's potential. Remember what I just said to you. Like a dedicated actor sticking to a script, the lower self creates obstacles when you attempt to nurture yourself, grow your spirit, or support your soul's potential. And I was telling you that earlier. This is like a demon trying to control you. You're going to have to persevere and be assertive and, and go after this new idea, this new I thought, thought that has been, that has come to you. Do not give up on it, please. Forcing thought when you actually want to be still can either drive the exploration of ideas or paralyze day-to-day -day activities. Paralysis can cause feelings of stagnation, being stuck in the past, trapped within your circumstances. Ultimately, the lower self takes us out of the present moment and we stop truly living. Focusing on the past causes barriers to reaching our higher self's guidance and inner being. It's common for people to assume that the ego is all negative and, and bad persona that we should lock up and never let out. In fact, the ego can push people to take risks, be adventurous, and entrepreneurial. And this is entrepreneurial as well. So who are you? Who are you? This knowledge will empower you and inspire you to push past ego boundaries in fear-based subconscious thought patterns. Train your ego to take a back seat. Right now, you need to disarm your ego, focus on the now and what you, what you can physically achieve in this moment. Push past the fear and face it head on. Feel the fear and do it anyway. The ego mask is a mental shield that is neither a good nor bad aspect of you. The ego is not something that can be destroyed, so we must make peace with it. Remove your mask and see what is hiding behind it. Be mindful of others' masks. You are not seeing or accepting the reality and the truth of the situation. Who is wearing a mask in your life? Assess your emotional reactivity. What is your lower self teaching you now? New life. It's like you're waking up. You are waking up. Birth of new ideas. No kidding. Growth opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around you in, in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world. And you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to feel fill with enthusiasm. 
Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. Absolutely it is. Something really good is about to happen. Be ready for it. Month number two. Tree of Life. Yin. Yin. Tree of Life. Things are changing. Seasons change. Seasons change. This is great. Ooh. Four of Swords. So this is month number two. Temperance. The Magician. The Star. Three of Swords. And the moon. Well, 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 well. Whatever's happening in month number two, it's big. Okay? We have six cards, and four of them are majors. So majors, when you get majors, majors are universally driven. Minors, like these two are minors. These are something that you are in control of. Your mind is in control of. Your free will is in control of. These right here, the universe is involved. Okay? So we have, this is some sort of universal help here. This is protection as well. And this is a wish being granted. Okay. So this is a dream. This is a miracle. This is some sort of miracle. And this is something like, these are very similar. This is a time of inspiration. It's, a, it's, it's you, it's you, um, it's like you getting the gold seriously. So something is happening in month number two. This, these are both cards of protection. So it's like you are protected. But there's something that you don't see with the moon card. There's, this is something that is unseen. There's something you don't know that is below the surface that has not been shown to you yet. You may be feeling exhausted. You may be tired. In month number two, you may be tired. You may need to take a break. You may need to go within for some reason and just take a little break. There is some sort of heartache here with the Three of Swords. This is pain. But this is taking action to bring success. And this is healing and this is healing over some sort of pain. So there's some sort of healing that is going on in month number two. There is a reason. There is a reason why your heart was broken. There is a reason why you suffered and went through pain. This is a reason. Rejection is God's protection. So I'm not sure what happened here. There is, there is a reason why you went through some sort of pain. Now a wish is going to be granted. This is a wish being granted. It really is. Guaranteed success when you get this card. So there is some sort of guaranteed success in month number two. But you may be exhausted because you may be, you know, what happened in month number one? You're taking action, right? In month number one, you, it's like you're fighting with somebody about something, going back and forth. And you got somebody trying to steal your energy in month number one. So month number two, this is exhaustion. Okay, it is. There's something that you don't know. Your wish is about to be granted. You don't, maybe you don't believe me, but you better believe it, okay? Something that you asked for, some sort of wish is about to be granted. If it has it, you don't see it. You're in some sort of pain. But you have manifested something. You have called something in. And the action that you are taking is going to bring success. So don't give up. Don't give up. Even if you're tired. Even if you're exhausted. Whatever. Do not give up. Because you were going to be successful in whatever it is that you are doing. This is going to be successful. You have the resources. You remember, you have the power. In the next three months, the power is in your hands. 
you guys are, are seriously going to be successful. So I'm just here to tell you, don't give up. Even if you're tired, even if you're exhausted, you could be dealing with somebody who is a liar, somebody that is deceptive. I mean, I'm just being honest with you and it's hurting you. Maybe they're hurting you. Maybe they're saying things that are, that aren't true. That's what's going to build your character. This is a card of character. It's going to give you strength. It is. It's going to give you strength. And you are going to win this battle. I know that you are. I'm positive. This is positive. I'm positive. Whatever this battle is, you are going to win. But you have to be willing to not give up. And yes, it, there's going to be pain because you're dealing with a liar. you got a liar. Somebody that doesn't want you to be successful. So you're going to, yeah, part of, part of uh, finding success is facing adversity. Okay, facing stuff, people, you know, finding your strength and your willpower to, you know, it, it's not easy to turn silver to gold or lead to gold. It's not easy. You have this power. This is magic and this is magic. You have the resources within you to overcome this deceptive. There's deception here. Somebody, so yes, you got somebody here that is, is deceiving. They're lying. But we have the Ace of Cups here. This is, this is a, this is love. This is a new opportunity for love, emotional fulfillment. This is happiness. This is happiness. You're going to have emotional support. You are. This is a this is a new start in love. Could be with an Aquarius, could be with a Sagittarius, could be with a Gemini, could be with <coughs> a Pisces or even a Cancer. If it's about love, but there is some element of pain here. What is this three of swords? Oh, there's hard feelings. There's, there's distrust. There's some challenges. You got some life challenge. You got some challenges this month. Just, just act with heart, act with compassion and you will be successful. You may be dealing with a, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, somebody may be coming towards you with love or affection. That's what I see. But this is fear and this is fear. Fear of getting your heart broken. If you are single, we're going to do the singles real quick. If you are single, you may be fearful of getting your heart broken. Somebody's offering you love. Somebody's offering you affection. This is somebody that you asked for. If you're single, that's this is what this is. I think it is a fire sign. This is somebody that is a leader. This is somebody that is very passionate. And when they see something, they go for it. This is exactly who you asked for. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel as though... There's some sort of challenge about allowing yourself to change, allowing yourself to evolve about following your heart. It's like you're, there's heartbreak here and it's like there's a big opportunity for love, but you would have to exchange, okay? You'd have to find those resources within you to take action to, you know step up and go in the direction that you want to go. Here we got the tower again. If you're if you are in a coupled relationship and you are in some sort of false foundation, you have the resources to be successful. But you are going to have to purge. Okay, you're going to have to purge. You're going to have to dismantle the false sense of security, the false foundation to have that big love. You're going to have to take action. If you are in a false 
foundation, you're living with somebody and it's all false, it's all a big lie. You have the power to take action and maybe you're going to because this is right around the corner. So if you're in a coupled relationship, it's like we have somebody here that is very stressed. It's like their heart isn't there. It's like their heart isn't in it. It's false. And they have the power to take action. So you may be thinking about that. But there's a state of confusion. <clears throat> Sacrificing yourself needlessly. Not speaking up. You notice my throat just messed up. You have to speak up. The power, you have the power. You really have the power. The power is in your hands. You are, you are tied to something by your own accord. This is upheaval. This is, I think we have somebody here that's been avoiding challenge. Maybe, maybe you've been in a relationship, uh, if you are coupled and you've been avoiding making a move. You've been staying there because you don't want to break somebody's heart. But you're breaking your own. And there's a big opportunity for love here. Anyway, if you are single, you got, you got love here. You don't even see it coming. You don't see it coming if you're single. This is who you asked for. And it is going to come like that. Pew! Here it is. Somebody just rushes into your life out of the freaking blue suddenly. It's like break time is over if you are single. You manifested this person. If you are single, you manifested this person. It's like you've called in your soulmate and here they are. If you are coupled, you, you or your partner could have somebody rushing into their life. I'm just, I got to be honest with you. Things are changing. Somebody's also going through some sort of spiritual renewal during this month. Oh, and I just shuffled five of wands. So we're struggling. Somebody is struggling. But action is going to be taken. Absolutely. Something is going to happen fast, very, very, very suddenly, very fast. Life is about to change for you. It's almost like instantly, instant change, completely out of the blue. Maybe the universe really, remember, I, it's funny that I, I explained to you about the universe. This is a major universal card, the tower in the world. Those are the two major universe cards. So we have the universe really stepping in. And you are going to be dealing with a conflict, a struggle. A struggle to break free from whatever it is that you have been hanging on to. Or you have been struggling to break free, right? Avoiding challenge. Somebody's been avoiding challenge. Persevering. Sticking it out, right? But this is somebody that is about to take action. It's like a fire gets lit under their ass. These are both high confidence. You may even have two people rushing in. If you are single, you could have two people rushing into your life. A fire sign and an air sign. You're definitely... Somebody's commitment. Somebody's about to get into a commitment. If you're single, you've got a commitment here. And this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate. This is a happy family as well. Now, these could even be children. You could have a, a fire sign and a uh, air sign. This is success. Taking action brings you happiness. Anyway, anyway, I feel as though we, it's like two people coming together. Two pe this time. It's time for a reunion of some sort. Could be a reunion with children. Could be a reunion with a soulmate. Children can even be a soulmate. <laughs> Happiness. Extreme. Ha this is going to be a very, very happy month. Month number two. You are. This is a card of glory. You are going to be right in your glory. 
right in your glory. Extreme happiness. Somebody's commitment, if you if you are maybe stepping it up to the next level. I think we have if you are single, it's like you're gonna be so happy you're not even gonna know how this happened. You don't even see it coming. You don't. This is a complete shock. Whatever is this is a shock. Whether you are single or coupled, expect a shock in month number two. Yin. And it's positive. Whatever it is, it's going to bring a lot of happiness to you. Happiness is coming. It's something that you asked for. That star card, this is guaranteed success. Something that you asked for, something that you wished for, you take action and boom, here it is. You asked for it. You asked for it, and here it is. Yin. The feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you. Ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. Let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. You, this is, you are going to be pleasantly surprised this month. There's no joke. You really are. It's almost like that rude awakening that, that, that somebody got the, the month before. is being removed okay that situation is completely being removed you win you win that's what I see tree of life tree of life create strong foundations to support future goals and aspirations and that's why that foundation had to crumble this is about roots as well anyway the breath of life is all around us. Self-sustaining, the universal tree of life provides a gateway to connect us to the knowledge of self. You are deeply connected to the universe and the world around you. When you respond to the actions and reactions of the earth and its people, you ultimately decide how you will grow and thrive. The tree of life requires you to look at your breath and to ground yourself in the present moment. Nature does not concern itself with the future. Plants know exactly what they need to do in any given moment. Living in the present will provide you with more time. Your presence is all that is required right now. You are strong and resilient to hold your space. Where are your roots? Plant and keep your feet firmly on the ground now. Any sudden change may cause instability in your personal life. And there's gonna be, there is going to be a sudden change. And you may feel unstable. You're probably going to be, because there's going to be a, this is a sudden change, and this is a sudden change. There is going to be a sudden change. <coughs> Dig your roots deep into the earth to create a firm foundation that you can build from. Are you relying too much on the support of others to help you grow? You have the answers within you to, to determine your direction of growth, but you must be willing to face your inner self and core beliefs. Within solid, with solid nurturing and time, you will begin to see results. Family matters are of concern now. Be open to solutions to achieve the outcome you desire. Be careful with decision making. Compromising too much over an issue will leave you feeling powerless. You know, you're going to have to stand in your power. Okay? You're going to have to stand your ground. You remember in month number one, and that, that's, it's like I, I can see that the person that got the rude awakening here, you know, they're in month number one, they're trying to, because they're still going to try to control you and want you to do things their way. They're going to want you to compromise. You're going to have to be careful. 
Anyhow. <sighs> Be careful with decision making. Compromising too much over an issue will leave you feeling powerless like a branch on a tree. Growth will occur in an area that supports the core structure or it will break and drop in order to maintain the overall strength of the tree itself. You may need to drop a branch or, tr or two to solidify your point of view or to reach a resolution. Be patient. Patience is key. You're going to have to make a decision, a tough one. Somebody's going to have to be dropped so that you can have the success that you are seeking. So month number two looks really good. It does. If you Remember, if you are single, you're the single Virgo, you got somebody coming into your life. You could have two people if you're single. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's time. The time is now. The time is now for you to receive with that wish card, that star card. So you're going to be receiving something. You don't even see it coming. But you're probably going to have to, like this card said, drop a branch or drop something to have that extreme happiness that is right here. There is going to be extreme happiness. No doubt. Fam with family and gatherings and celebrations and it's just going to be wonderful. But you have to stand in your power and not back down. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to get a tea leaf card for you in month number one and I didn't. So I'm going to get one from month number two. A tea leaf card for Virgo. One card for month number two. Month number two. One card. One card. These are hard to shuffle. <laughs> I could just pick one out of the bag. Oh, is that it? We got two. I guess we have to take them both, huh? Month number two. Tankard. Celebration. There is going to be a celebration. Fun environment. Target. A goal-oriented person. Keep going. Aim for that target. You will reach your goals. You're going to hit the bullseye. I'm telling you what. This is this is this is it. This is going to be a mu great month. Month number two. Month number three. Month number three. Sacred wisdom. No place like home. Maybe somebody's coming home. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you're moving home. Maybe you're going home. Could go any million ways, you know? Sacred wisdom. That's an owl. That's a card of with the owl is the highest intuitive wisdom. The fool. Brand new beginning. Starting with a clean slate. You're going to be starting with a clean slate, starting from scratch. Justice. This is something turning in your favor, something being ruled in your favor. Month number three. Getting what you deserve. This is, if you are going to court, you definitely are going to win. The truth prevails. The truth prevails. King of Pentacles, whoo! Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So month number three, you're starting from scratch. You are getting, there's a final decision being made. Somebody's probably being left behind. Somebody may be begging. Somebody is probably begging for you to give them a chance or they're they are somebody's probably begging you now could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be dealing with a Libra Pisces Cancer Scorpio even Aries but this is somebody that is begging it's like they're begging begging you this this is the seven of swords this is um the Seven of Swords is betrayal. 
deception. Lies. Lies. That is the seven of swords. We got somebody here that... Uh, may be offering you something and they're lying to you. So seriously, you're probably going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to... You're going to... Again, you're in the power. You're in control the next three months. You could be dealing with somebody who, who all of a sudden, you know, this person is coming after you with the emotion. They're, they're being emotional and they're, you know, they're using their emotions to uh, get you to give them a chance, to give them something. I think that you have won and it's like you've got somebody that is going to try to, it's almost like emotionally blackmail you with their emotions. This thing is going on my 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 thing. <laughs> I'm Virgo rising. I don't care for that. I really don't. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Anyhow, uh, now I'm really focused on it. I might have to blow that out. But we're gonna we're, stop. <laughs> Scratching my head. I gotta blow it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I had to put that out. So that's a message as well. You're gonna have to put somebody. You're gonna have to say no. I can't do this. I can't let this happen. I can't let this happen. I can't. We'll ruin it. So yes, you're going to have to put something out. You're going to have to distinguish somebody's uh, lies. Okay? You got a fresh start here. You're starting a new journey. You have won something. You have won. The decision has been made. Now this person is begging. They're begging. They're lying. They're using emotional blackmail. And you are going to have to stand in your power again. Month number three. <sighs> yeah, this person's probably going to You got somebody here that may apologize. They want to start with you. They want to start over with you. But you could, the seven of swords is lies. That is lies. It's like you have the opportunity, right? The opportunity. You have an opportunity. You have it in your hands. Now you got somebody that's coming in. They're offering you something. They want another chance. Somebody wants another chance with you. And now you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a choice. Can you trust this person? This is a card of, I mean, this is, there could be some legal issues. This could, this could be a legal battle that you're going through for some of you. This is judgment and justice. This is definitely karma, karma, karma. There's been some lies. There's been some betrayal and there probably still is. We have somebody here that now it's like, they may say, oh, you have to do the right thing. You know, they may use that ploy. This is a card of integrity and this is a card of integrity. You're going to have to act with integrity based on what you know. Somebody's going to want you to give them another chance. Um... Ten of Pentacles. This is an awakening right here. This is a wake-up call. We got the root awakening the couple months before. So somebody that got their wake-up call. The truth has been revealed. Wants another freaking chance. Ten of Pentacles. This is home. This is home. Prosperity. The decision has been made. Could be a child that is coming home. Does it have to be a child? It could be anybody. It could be a could be an ex. I mean, it could be, I don't know. It could be a reconciliation. This is a reconciliation with somebody. This is a child. Take a look at this woman. I just gotta show it to you. Or it's not a woman. It could well, it is a woman, but it could be a this is this is an energy, this card. This is a fresh new start. This is you starting over, getting that clean slate, starting starting over with somebody. So this is starting over, starting from scratch. This is home. Reconciliation. You're going to have a reconciliation with somebody. But this person, he's, this person is looking down. This person is looking down. 
things are changing and they are changing for the better this is this is you, you win you your luck good luck this is really good look at this judgment two tens and this ten this is the major another ten this is a completion of a cycle and you're about to you're about to get something this is your reward this is extreme abundance you got somebody that is going to beg you to give them a chance. Oh my God. Extreme abundance. Extreme. You're going to be enjoying life. You're going to be grateful. The storm is absolutely over. You're going to see an increase. If this, if this is, this could be an increase at your job. This could be a bonus. This could be, I don't know what this is, but this is an increase. You are, you are going to be, you're going to be on cloud nine. Nine. This is positive, very, very positive change. Somebody's going to give you something. Maybe it's the court. Because this is a court and judgment is court too. It's like the court awards you something. Maybe you're going to get child support. I don't know if it's child support. I don't know what the... Or money. Maybe it's inherit, an, an inheritance. You could get... An, some of you could get an inheritance. Or you could just get a big old raise. Whatever this is, this is very fortunate. This is good fortune, good luck. Something is about to turn out in your favor and you are going to be the victor. And that is extreme abundance. If you are starting your own business, congratulations, you are going to be successful. This is a passionate new beginning. Very passionate. This is exciting. You're on fire. Things are changing. Things may be a little bit chaotic. I think that you will be adapting to some new circumstances. The worst is over. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of that. The storm, like I said, the storm is over. It's the end. You got all these tens. Completion, completion. I mean, you got a lot of them. Completion, 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 completion. A cycle in your life that you that has caused you so much struggle and pain and suffering is absolutely positively over you should be grateful some of you are moving there could be a new home or somebody could be coming home this is adapting adapting and then we get this other two. Two are about uh, partnerships, adapting to a new partnership or a new union, adapting to change. But you do have somebody that betrayed you. You see, this person is looking back. They're looking back. They're looking back and, you know, they're begging for a chance. So somebody's going to be begging you for a chance. I think you, this could be a new sexual partner if you're single. This is your new sexual. You have a new, and you got to make a choice. This is a card of choice. And this is, so for some of you, if this is in regards to love or whatever, you make a choice. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice between two. No doubt. You may already have a new sexual partner. Or you, or this person's coming in. Life is changing drastically. It is for the better. Karma is here. Somebody may have received a karmic awakening. Now they want to come back. Just saying. Or you could be dealing with somebody who received karma for their actions and you persevere. Either way, there is a need to adapt to some sort of change that is happening in your life. This is a positive change, even though it's going to be a little bit chaotic for a minute. This is exciting. Sacred Wisdom. We're going to read that one first. Sacred Wisdom. Think carefully. 
Consider all options in your life transitions. Owls are deep and intense message bringers, encouraging you to connect to your inner visionary. The white owl shares wisdom with those who respect traditional processes. Protectors and knowledge keepers, these sage spirit animals offer you guidance and safeguard your spiritual work. Intuitive information and messages alike will always arrive with divine delivery and no sooner. Don't push. Acknowledging change. You are going to be going through a change. We talked about this. The wise owl asks you to think carefully about how you approach this transition. Look beyond what is physically in front of you. More about your gifts and natural talents will be revealed to you when you remove the expectation of receiving certain results. Right now, honor your inner God or Goddess. Return to natural cycles in all that you are. Delve deep into your being to assess powerful base energies that resonate with your heart and instincts. Honor the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine that reside within your spirit. Keep your focus and direction on the present day or time will slip away into the abyss. It, ideas will soon pass on to others if you continue to ignore spirit's messages. Lunar phases will affect you now. Be mindful in your methods with others and listen to your inner voice. Past life influences will arise now. Deep attractions or a sense of knowing or kinship will make themselves known in abrupt ways. Yes, that's definitely going to happen. It's going to happen at the end of the second month. Just so you know. Anyhow, um, make sure that you are listening to your spirits and follow your gut. No place like home. Authenticity. Coming home to yourself. Feeling at home. Arriving at a place where you just fit. Being comfortable in your own skin. Home feels safe and secure. It's, comfort it's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with, ne with, ne with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. And you are going to be in a position of power and strength, there's no doubt, for the next three months. Authenticity, she is the queen of authenticity right there. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here. In the house of your spirit and spirit. Lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love and you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiar, familiarity right now. Be home in this relationship. Together you add love to the world. When you act in an authentic way, you command the world to reflect back to you exactly what is your highest good. Your busyness, your business choices, the investments you make, and the creative projects you immerse yourself in are powerfully on point. Why? Because when you are fully yourself, radically accepting everything in your journey to date, both, accept, both successes and failures, you will see the divinity in all things. Abundance is a natural progress, progression when you experience this kind of authenticity. And you remember, we saw all this authenticity about, what, maybe four minutes ago here, I was saying, or abundance, abundance. We saw all this abundance, it's like abundance, abundance, abundance. Um, your authenticity is going to bring you a massive amount of abundance. 
Don't doubt it for a minute. Be prepared to receive something and be grateful. This is the nine of wands is somebody that is very grateful and authentic. So being authentic is going to bring you a reward. It could even be a new home. I don't know. Or somebody coming home or feeling at home with somebody, meeting the person that you are at home with, whatever it is. The next three months <laughs> looks wonderful. Good luck.